Of these 210 patients, the majority have been discharged. We are remaining with about 46 in the hospital, of whom 30 of them underwent surgery, and they are all doing very well. Fortunately, nobody died in Mulago Hospital. Ward 3B at Mulago Hospital has exceeded its capacity with the injured now lying in the corridors. Although the doctors have managed to bring down the number of casualties, many of the injured are still shocked at how they came to meet their fate in the fracas of yesterday. Paddy Sekamati is among those nursing injuries after he sustained two bullet wounds. They told me to gun the, remove the fire which was burning on the road. The other one started shooting me. I got two shots, one here, another one down here. Some of the patients have been put on oxygen cylinders. The three-year-old child who was shot in the leg is still in intensive care unit after its admission yesterday. Yeah, that one was worked on and the, and the child is doing well, is alive and well. Most of those who suffered the effects of tear gas have been discharged. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.